Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I may have gone to Sephora and I may have only picked up three products, all of which are lip products. And because they are all new lip products, I thought I had an obligation to purchase them and test them out and talk to you about them. So here we are. <laughs> so if you want to see what three lip products I purchased, and hear my thoughts on them, then please just keep on watching. Okay, to build up the anticipation, um, I'm only going to reveal them once I am unboxing them and talking about them. So, first up, the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat in the shade Lemon Lava. Did I think I was gonna get this? I didn't. However, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed yesterday and felt like I needed to treat myself, and here we are. So this, It is the Fenty Heat Gloss Bomb Heat in the shade Lemon Lava. I mean, this is not doing it justice. However, here we are. I feel like we all know and either love or hate the formula of this. I personally love the formula. It does sting the lips a little bit. It's not super painful. Maybe like the Too Faced Extreme Lip Injection. However, I definitely think this plumps the lips. So... Why not? So let's put it on. Let's see what it looks like on the lips. I haven't swatched this yet. I'm excited. Let's do this. Okay. It is quite lovely. There is very little shimmer to be seen on the lips. So I feel like it just looks kind of like a clear gloss, which I mean, I'm not super mad about, however. Do you need this? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty. I apologize for all the I do in all my videos. Um, I don't know. If you like the formula, then yes, I think you're gonna like this. Don't be expecting anything <laughs> as far as color or a great deal of sparkle. I feel like you have to be super close up to the lips to be able to see any sparkle. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting with this one. It is what it is. I don't know. I'm undecided. I feel like there are other Fenty Heat shades that I would reach for before I reach for this one. I also will say, I know this is super weird, I feel like Lemon Lava, was I expecting kind of like a fruity scent? I probably was. Does it still have the same scent as all the other Gloss Bomb Heats? It does. It's weird. Spicy with a fruity name. I don't know. That's playing with my mind. Anyways, okay, this is it. Let me know below if you're getting this, if you have it, what your thoughts are. I'm on the fence. Okay, um, the other two products, okay, I'll leave the best for last, I think. Next up, I picked up the new Mary, no, I didn't. I picked up the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Mauve Glow. When these launched, I said I wasn't going to buy them. Actually, I said I wasn't going to buy any lip products. That lasted a few days. Um, I haven't tried anything from this brand, so I have no idea what to expect. However, I've been seeing these all over Instagram and TikTok, and I'm not going to lie, I was just feeling left out. So, I have purchased it. Um, at the Sephora I went to, they only had three shades and so this would not have been my first choice however I could not have waited for them to restock anymore so I picked up Mauve Glow and of course I did look all of these up on the Sephora website just because I was curious um and I know nothing about them I just bought them because everyone else was um so the <laughs> these plumping lip serums um give high shine finish they're hydrating they're cruelty free that's amazing and 
made with shea butter, avocado oil, refined kiwi oil, argan oil, free of parabens, parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting now. However, I'm expecting greatness since these are always sold out. Okay, so again, Mauve Glow. Let's do this. That's packaging. I've seen this on TikTok and I'm not looking forward to it. It's just like those Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Lip Kiss, Happy Kiss things. I don't know. I don't really love the twist twist up, however. No one cares. Um, so you can't really see the shade, however, let's do this. Quite enjoy that. It feels very balmy, very juicy on the lips. The lips look very juicy. It is super comfortable. Damn it. This is actually super lovely. How many shades do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I mean, they've got seven shades, so I perhaps need more of them. These are lovely. This is like the perfect, easy, throw-on, no makeup makeup, lip product, over lip liner, over lipstick. They're pigmented. They're juicy. Something is stinging. I don't know if it's this or if it's still the Fenty Plumper. My lips are on fire. Let the record state. Um, I was not expecting that. I assume it's from this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Please tell me if you have tried these. Do they sting your lips? What am I feeling right now? Overall, yes. I, oh my gosh, I am very thrilled with this. Very. The thrilled. Tell all your friends about those. Okay, last one. Believe me when I tell you my lips <laughs> are on fire. That's something is has packed punch and I don't know what it is. I've also just noticed that I have purchased three lip pumpers. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, last but not least is Cali Ray. This is a new brand to Sephora. I feel like it just launched last week. Um, yeah, they are a clean beauty brand. Cruelty free, amazing, vegan, amazing. So I picked up the glazed and infused lip plumper gloss. That is the packaging. I think it's super cute. Very like surfer vibes. I don't know if that's an accurate thing. However, that's what I think when I see it. Um, and this is the product. I'm kind of here for it. I think it's super cute. Um, so these plumping glosses are available in six shades, lots of neutrals, although they do have like um, a soft violet mauve, which is not the one I purchased. Um, and rainbow blow, hello, a spicy bright pink, cute. I picked up the shade Likely Story, which is a warmed up nude peach, which is surprising since I don't normally pick up peaches. Anyways, it's fine. Um, so Sephora says it's a clean lip gloss that glides on like an oil, hydrates like a cushiony balm, and has Pardon? Biomimetic peptide to plump your lips now and over time. Cool. Okay. Let's try it on. I'm also opening this for the first time. Cool. Cool. That's a nice color. Let us see. Ooh. Okay. I feel like it's a lot more pigmented than I expected out of one of these like squeeze chew glosses. Is that weird? Because they don't typically give like the most accurate application, in my opinion. Hmm. Okay. 
that is quite a lovely shade. I don't think it has a scent. Although I'm smelling some kind of candy, but I don't know if that's a gloss or if that's, I don't know, something else around me. Um, I quite like that. It has not started singing so far. I don't know if it's going to. The color is lovely. It's very comfortable on the lips. I feel like this might be my favorite of the three because it just like, that's what I want my lips to look like naturally. Is that possible? Okay, I love this. Hasn't started stinging yet. I think it was that Makeup by Maria one that friggin' started stinging right away. I thought I was under attack by something spicy. Um, does it say if it's gonna start stinging? But it's supposed to be hydrating and plumping. I am super excited for this. I am gonna leave it on for the next few hours and see what happens because it's promising me lots of wonderful things. So, it may begin working its magic now. Anyways, this was my very chatty, very random mini Sephora haul lip plumper edition, apparently. I didn't realize I had only purchased lip plumpers. However, the heart wants what the heart wants. So, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have tried any of these new lip plumpers. What are your thoughts? What is your favorite lip plumper? Do you even use lip plumpers? Tell me everything in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video, which will hopefully be very soon. Bye.